So what's going on guys, we're back again with another Madden 18 video and today uh, Team of the Year did come out So there's some new players um, For basically defense came out this year, but if you did do all the Team of the Week solos You're able to put the collectible in to get one random Team of the Year, either offense or defense So uh, yeah, that's, that's this one right here, Team of the Year collectible goes in And um, yeah, you get one, like you get one of them for free, offense or defense Anyways, there's the rookie standouts so it's two gold team tokens and a silver team token, and you get one random 83 all the way to 93 overall. Um, and then the defense team of the year, you need 12 83 to 87s, or 88s, I guess. I guess 88, but I don't know. It's for some reason on the picture to the left, it says 87. And then three 89 or overall higher. I got an 83 overall on the solos, which wasn't really that good. But I mean, yeah, so these are the rookie ones, which is kind of a good idea instead of collectibles, because I mean, at least they're kind of useful in a way, but uh, so these are the 8990s. So we have a Jared Davis, a TJ Watt, who looks pretty decent 84 speed, 86 block shed, 91 finesse move, and uh, what else? I think these are the only two. Oh no, there's uh, Ruben Foster as well. We've got another card 85 speed, 88 block shedding. Um, I think there is more. Pretty sure there's a, okay, so yeah, there's a Miles Garrett. Um, this one is a right end, 92 overall, 84 speed, 90 block shed, 90 power move, not too bad. And I think there is still the Tredavious White. I'm not sure if you can put him into this one. Let's see. Yeah, there he is right there. 250k for this card, 91 speed, 94 man, 91 zone, 94 press, only 85 cleric. But uh, this card does look pretty decent. And uh, yeah, it's kind of a good idea to do rookies instead. I, I know a lot of people complain about like the cards kind of being like not good at all. But I mean, they still have to make cards for people that don't have amazing teams or anything. And also, it's kind of better when the cards aren't good because when the cards are good, there's situations like with the playoff sets where a lot of the the um, the players that aren't a lot of the players that are in the set for them are like kind of wanted or wanted players, and it makes the whole set expensive. So like the Falcon set. Not this one. I got a lot of players for this one. I have four out of six. And two of them, or one of them, or no, two of them actually, sorry. Two of them being the 90 overall ones. And I still, there's still no point in me making the set. Because Deion Jones goes for 400k. And then Mohamed Sanu goes for like another 200k, I think. Yeah, 200k. And it's like, and Julio Jones only goes for 500. So it's like, what's, like, you know what I mean? So when cards are like, the cards that go in the set when they're good it makes the whole set like expensive and not worth making in the first place so i mean i guess it's not that bad in my opinion but uh yeah so then let's go check out the cards uh, this basically we're gonna open up my free reward pack but um i didn't get to do a, a video on all the stuff that came out today and all the players obviously there's a player for each and every position except for two cornerbacks two d tackles those are the ones that are doubled so i think it's a 94 raw minimum and then I'm gonna go ahead, go to program. Oops, not that one. Program team of the year. And there we go. Okay, so starting from the cheapest, the one, the only one we don't want on defense. Let's go to all defense because the offense we're gonna worry about right now. The only one we don't want on defense is Bird. That's the only card I don't want. The only one. Like literally every other card I'll use. Every other card is useful. This Geno Atkins looks amazing. 78 speed, 90 block shed, 94 power move, 85 finesse move, and 90 play arc. Card looks really good. Um, and even Endomic and Sue looks good too. 74 speed, 92 power moves, 91 block shed, 91 play arc. The only thing is his toughness chemistry is pretty terrible. I really want Bobby Wagner. I think it's my number one. 88 speed, 87 zone coverage. He'll go to 91 zone on my team with uh, um, Tyron Matthew, the motivator one. So he'll go to 91 zone. But look at that, 93 block shed, 95 tackle, 94 play arc, 95 pursuit. I think he'll be the best overall linebacker in the game for sure with block shed, strength, zone coverage, all that. And then we do have a Joey Bosa, but that one's sold. And it's funny because I would love this card too because I use Joey Bosa at right end. So I can tear that one up when the upgrade comes out. And this card will probably be even better. So let's go and check it out right here. 83 speed, 84 strength, 92 block shed, 96 finesse move, and 94 power move. 89 play rec. So the card looks amazing. Uh, Levante David looks good also. I have Tubman Smith already. But if I were to get this card, I would move Tubman Smith to middle linebacker. Put this card right off the linebacker. Um, 87 speed. Uh, 90, 94 play rec, 94 tackling, 87 block shed, 93 hit bar, and I think he has 92 zone coverage, which is really good. 
Now obviously pass rushing stats aren't the, aren't amazing or anything, but 92 zone coverage you see right there. So really good zone coverage player with secure tackler, which is also a bonus. Uh, AJ Bouye, 90 speed, 95 zone, 94 man, 93 player rec. Also a good card, not like a super amazing corner, not a lot of hit power. This Khalil Mack looks really good too. I think this is the number two card I want. Um, 88 speed, 95 block shed, 96 finesse move, 92 power move. I need a left outside linebacker too, so this card would fit perfectly in my team. And he looks really good. Um, which ones am I missing? I am missing another corner, I believe, which is the Chargers corner. I guess there's none on the auction block then. Um, yeah, I guess there's none. Unless he's lower overall. Or, wait, there's 96s, aren't there? I think there is 96s. Is he a 96 overall? Um, yeah, he is. Okay, so Casey Harrod, 96 overall with 90 speed, 97 zone coverage. You go to 99 zone coverage on my team. 95 player, 96 press, 94 man with pick six chemistry and toughness. That I mean, not toughness, uh, physical front. That card looks amazing as well. Um, and then there's this Aaron Donald who would replace um, Ed Tutal Jones, which I wouldn't mind because I can at least get some coins and sell Ed Tutal, who probably doesn't go, only goes for like 200k, but still. Um, 95 power move, 88 finesse move, 94 block shed. 94 strength. He only has minus one strength on uh, at too tall, but everything else he's way better at him at than him. I don't know why I lost my age <laughs> words right there, but um yeah the card the card's going for 470. Honestly the cards aren't that expensive, which is kind of cool. Um, I forgot to go back to all defense. I think I am missing one more. I'm pretty sure the only last one I'm missing is this Landon Collins. Uh, 91 speed, 93 excel, 95 tackle, 94 zone, 96 pursuit, 95 hit bar. Obviously this card is amazing, like really amazing. And obviously I wouldn't mind this one either. So we do have one. I just, all I want, all I want is to not get Kevin Bird. That's the only one I, I don't want. And the only reason I can't have him is because I restart Tyron Matthew, which is a problem because I need him on the field and just having, it'd just be a problem. So literally every card that's there i can use every single card i can use any of the d tackles they're both better than ones i have i can use any right there are the right end joey wilson because you upgrade this one i can use the left end because i'll be able to sell that one i use a corner because my corners aren't amazing um mel blunt is amazing but my cornerback number two isn't amazing so mel blunt would go over the number two um middle linebacker it's Derek burks which isn't also not amazing anymore uh bobby wagner would be 10 times better if i got levante david Tevin smith would be middle linebacker um Khalil Mack would easily replace Jason Taylor and uh, Landon Collins of course would be better than Eric Berry on any world so literally I'm in a really happy position right here because I only have to worry about getting one I have to only worry about getting one player if I get that player that's the most unlucky thing in the world so we're gonna go ahead and open up this pack um I'm really excited for this uh I feel like this pack is gonna determine if I'm gonna go ahead and come back and play Madden a lot more because I've been slacking off a lot lately on playing this game but um yeah so I'm gonna open the pack I'm gonna close my eyes though so i'm gonna close my eyes now and i'm gonna open the pack so i'm gonna count to 10 i guess one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and I open my eyes and it's a 95 aj Bouye. so that's pretty sick i'm happy with that it's not like the top choice i wanted but it's way better than kevin Britt. i didn't i was i was gonna get really mad if i get that one so i'm really happy about that a free 95 overall AJ Bouye and it's pretty cool because all the other cards aren't even that expensive either and it's like it's pretty nice so if I really wanted that Bobby Wagner still I could probably get him I could probably sell Mobile and Derek Brooks if I really wanted to and not have to worry about even starting AJ Bouye so I mean it, there's a lot of options here so let's go ahead and put AJ Bouye in my team see what it's gonna look like with the 95 overall AJ Bouye on my team does he go up to 96 overall he does so a 96 overall AJ Bouye going on my team and uh yeah that's amazing I love like that's sick a free card I just, the only part that sucks is that people, honestly, people are out there getting Kevin Birds. Like, it could have been any other player. Anybody else, like, that's popular. I'm trying to think of a player. Like, imagine if it was Harrison Smith instead of that. Like, I think anybody would have been happy with any choice you get. And that's what, I think that would have been amazing. But, um, yeah, so we got a really good card of ours. Uh, I'm really excited to see uh, next week what card we're going to get for the offense. Because I do believe we get another Nat card on offense. So let's hope we get another good one then. I want Carson Wentz really badly. That would be my preference. But uh, yeah, thanks guys for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.